No, but really, like, I really do think this is, like, the number one problem in YouTubers. And if you could just fix this, it would just, like, basically change everything. You guys have... Don't call my phone, I don't got time to talk today Good morning everybody, welcome to my channel Today, I'm in Hollywood, actually vlogging on my iPhone Because all my SD cards seem to vanish Just kidding dad, I'm joking and they're still here Um, they're just charging Anyway, today I'm going to go have coffee Meeting with a girl, she's a YouTuber Super excited for you guys to meet her 7am, I woke up at like 5.30 all pumped Because we hit 10k this morning Thank you so, so much I'm not going to stall any further We're going to get into the vlog And I'm going to hopefully find more SD cards <laughs> Listen, it's been a frantic Is frantic a good word? It's been a frantic morning Let me explain I literally just, I keep misplacing things So where the frick is my sunscreen? Oh I wanted to talk about like some basic sh that no one gets. Can we do that basic sh no one gets? Also, for everyone who's on Ask Jade today or tomorrow, whatever it is, is going up. Like, I don't know how I can fit everyone in because I am traveling and I don't. I don't have a D Rock with me right now. Like, I don't have someone to film me talking call. Anyways, I'm putting my foundation on. I look at my YouTube analytics. Half of you guys are girls. Half of you guys are guys. Do you guys get like displeased? When you see girls wearing makeup or like apply makeup, or is that just like not what you think? That's why I don't do makeup tutorials because I have girls here, but I'm like, wait, what do the guys think? Are they like gonna click away? But if I do a makeup tutorial and 50% of my demographic is male, will they be off put? Yeah. Like, that's the thing. So that's why I have like girls who give me ideas, but I'm like, I have to make sure the audience retainment is up. This is getting off track, but what I'm trying to say, a lot of the YouTube communities, like, once they have a good viral video, they'll go to like an agency. Like, I noticed for sure just because I was talking to a friend and like she's close to like all the agencies, but what they realize is they do like a digital dive, right? They like look in your data. But like, that's the stuff that I do, but like at home in my corner, not getting paid. <laughs> I feel like this would be good business package. My under eyes are getting crusty. I feel like. People make a video that does well, but then they do the opposite by the next up videos after that are like have no relevance to what got them there. If makeup tutorials got you to the place where you were at, keep doing makeup tutorials. You want to switch over? Like you got to milk the audience, milk them till they're ready. It's like raising a child. And so many of you guys are like jump, you're trying to go, to go wide, not narrow. Maybe in your niche and you're like, I'm done. Like time to go to a freaking like vlog life. I'm like, no. That's why I refuse to like stop talking about Instagram until I, I literally milk the entire Instagram topic and I'm the number one Instagram person because if I keep jumping around you guys are just gonna click away well I know some of you guys are hecka loyal literally you guys are freaking best so if you just like watch my stuff even if you don't even have a business or Instagram <laughs> and I thank you but if I look at my analytics and most people's analytics look like this too 50% of the views are not people that are subscribed actually over 50% so I gotta that's what this is just what goes through my head as I do my makeup so you guys don't click away what I'm doing I'm doing a multi-ception thing see the guys are still watching this because it's not really a makeup tutorial at the same time the girls are like whoa what is that see genius right I noticed also I go up in a city in LA called Arcadia and I don't remember much of it but now I'm coming back literally everyone has a Tesla here I see a lot of Porsche I see a lot of Lamborghinis and I'm like wow like my city if you like literally pulled up in that you would be Jesus just like people dream bigger in bigger cities and I think I want to live here. Like, I honestly want to live here. Or New York, but New York, Gary Vaynerchuk has New York and I'm going to take LA. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's such an ambitious goal. You guys are like, what the? Oh, by the way, if you hear noises in the back, I'm not here alone. I remember my dad and his like business client partner. And then I'm the only girl here. So I'm just like chilling in my room all the time with you guys. So I'm going to blend out my concealer. By the way, I'm using Tarte Shape Tape. You guys might be wondering, Jade, why are you here? So right there, that building, that really tall building my dad had a meeting there they're like a management company just for retail so this is why the place we're staying at is incredibly nice like above me is like a thirty thousand dollar penthouse a month a month so yeah and the meeting went well by the way they were helping them create a software to manage all their inventory it's an it's a very interesting problem hey, what time is it got 10 minutes why am i always rushing literally i was in the elevator in here it's very highly secured there's like valley parking and everything i'm not trying to like flash like i don't actually go here i'm not used to this man i live in a very humble like a humble humble place in portland i'm almost done with makeup i talk a lot my dad and dad is my dad's always in my vlogs kind of he's kind of camera shy i'm so proud of my dad like we've been through a lot of shit I'm Christian and I do believe like everything happens for a reason and God really blessed us here. I don't know. So another thing, I have another rant. I don't know, as an entrepreneur, I don't know. Like I'm just gonna be vulnerable right now. Like I don't know if like Christ being Christians looked down upon because everyone's thinking about cars and bitches and like I'm trying to be the opposite 
and build a business on actual good deeds, you know? You know what, you guys, like, I'm gonna do what I want. And I'm not gonna let a entrepreneur title or like subcategory define who I am. No, but really, like, I really do think this is like the number one problem in YouTubers, and if you could just fix this, it would just like basically change everything. You guys have to keep doing the same niche. Don't flip flop and, you know, go to the next thing. Be focused and always, always remain narrow, not wide. This is gonna be a shitty iPhone vlog. So as I'm literally set waiting for my Uber, there's really nice cars by me. As I think and sit here and with these nice cars with me, I'm just thinking, how the fuck am I supposed to make this work? <laughs> I wanna live here. So I never really talk about like my business sign point. I really like, that's a fucking Lamborghini. And I don't know what to think about. Living in Portland is fine, but like, I need to find a way to make money to live here. Just like when you think bigger, you pay bigger prices. There's a Lamborghini in the back, so <laughs> knowledge. So I'm at this place called Alfred's and it's literally, a, look at that matcha. Can I please get the matcha croissant and then a matcha green tea latte? How to win my heart, a matcha green tea latte with almond milk. Hi, Macy. So I'm vlogging on my I'm iPhone. Vlogging? Yeah. How beautiful the city is. There's like a Lamborghini and Tesla everywhere. And it just makes me want to dream bigger, but then I'm like, wait, I gotta work okay, harder. So if we take a drive up into the hills just to get inspired for the week to wow. dream big and get after it so That's we can get so a house up there. Oh my God. And and now if we need inspired, it's like one you of just us go to just, one of us is just like I need to do we need to do the hills. Inspiration gets me going. Like seeing things like mm -hmm. that we I realize, want right. get me going. Room. Staying with two more people. It's like the other room. The agenda is I have a meeting with a student, coaching call student. Then I have a podcast interview in like another hour with some of uh, someone from New York. What's up, everybody? It's Ani Hustles. I'm rocking out with Jade. Thank you so much for having me. It's sunny LA. All right, we'll see you guys. We just recorded a podcast. We'll check it out in a little bit. Just wrapped up a meeting. Shout out to the winner. Comment on this post to be featured in the next episode. I'm gonna be working on some content stuff, answering my emails. And I got this question from a few of you guys. And I think I'm gonna do a sit down talk because guess who fucking found her SD card? So I'll see you guys when I finish all my emails and we'll chat real soon. What's up guys? Thank you so much for watching. Hold up, if you could do me a huge favor, give this video a like and hit that subscribe button to turn on my post notifications. That would mean the world to me and I really appreciate it. Mwah.